Hey guys, this week we're going to talk about advice we wish we would have had the day we became fathers. Let's send it. Let's send it. Let's go full sun living today. Mm -hmm. We are going to get into it. Um, We have finished our series of six episodes of Nate's book. Yep. It was fantastic. Participating with us. I appreciate it. Yeah. Thank you guys. And now we're getting into the good stuff. Hey, now. What we wish we could have told ourselves in the very waiting room. Yes. If. If you could, uh, if we could have go back to the day that your kid was born, and you could go and be in the waiting room and visit yourself, and say, "Hey, you're you're gonna want to know this." Yeah, this is gonna be pretty. This important. could help you. So that's yeah. what we're gonna talk about. So we just had a couple things each of us kind of thought about, and um, let's get into it. Yeah, I think it's gonna be really helpful for both moms and dads. Yeah, I think um, so. Yeah, but mo- mainly dads because we're dads. That's how we do it. Yeah. So um, I wrote down, or do you want to go first, my friend? No, go ahead. Okay, I'll go first. Um, so the one of the things I would have told myself is, Ethan, do not retreat from your family. That's what I would have said. Let's is, unpack that a little bit. Yeah. So when when we first had Grayson, I had this like overwhelming sense of pressure, that feeling of like, oh my gosh, it's not just me and my best friend anymore. Right. Now I'm like responsible for this little dude. How old were you? 21 21 yeah yeah it got real really quick and um and i retreated like i and you can ask lydia like her our first year of marriage i was getting into this uh sales job that i'm currently in right now which was really high pressure high stakes really um most people will just say it this way most people that are in my job cry multiple times within their first year at mm-hmm. work. <laughs> so we'll just say that. I've seen that in my profession. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. So like, I mean, it's like, you know, everybody has their has their stuff, has their thing. But like with this job, it's just really intense. And, and yeah. the highs are really high and the lows are really low. <laughs> yeah. And I was just digging deep to try to figure out how to provide for a family. But when I would come home, I would retreat from the people I was providing for um, almost because it was just like, this reminder of like, I'm not, I'm not good enough to do this. Mm -hmm. Like I'm not good enough to be a dad or a good husband. And it was like being around my own family really like internally made me like. So what was like the retreat? Like what would you. I would, I would go play video games in the basement. Disconnect. Just disconnected. I'd be there, Mm -hmm. but I'd be retreating, you know? Um, just not being a man, like not like asking my wife, how, how can I help your, your day? Cause I would commute an hour to work and I'd commute an hour back and I'd leave, I'd leave at like 6am and I'd get back at 6pm. Mm-hmm. And so that life was exhausting. And so then when I'd come home, I just kind of had this mentality of like, I'm like, I can, I can put put things in neutral and shift down a gear, you know, Mm -hmm. which was just not the case. And I think that reality of like somebody else needs me all the time made me want to run, you know? And, um, yeah. And I, I just didn't realize like it's that, that is a privilege and an opportunity as a man. Like that's a, as a man, I get to confront and push through challenges and overcome obstacles and um, and grow and be tenderhearted but yet strong at the same time. And it was just this like growing of what it, what is a man? You know what I mean? What is? And I had to kind of ask myself over time. And Lydia had to kind of <laughs> swap me in the butt <laughs> to yeah. to get me like, dude, you need to be a man, you know. And it was, you know, it was just it was like a. It's always been a process, but it was a, a two year long process. Mm-hmm. So I it think. wasn't, 
don't know why I feel like I'm like. I don't care. I don't you know. I'm just asking. Like the thought of like it wasn't like an instant like light switch on moment. Like you said, it's more of like a two year thing. By the time mm-hmm. you kind of started dialing it in. Yeah, it was like I, I needed to. Um, well, we moved from Utah to Michigan, and I think somewhere in that, when we moved, I, we're we're getting really vulnerable here. People. <laughs> oh, <boy. laughs> it's like counseling with Ethan. Um, I'll get really real. Lean in, people. When here we, we go. moved from Utah to Michigan, Lydia literally broke down and started crying and t- talking to me before. Like our moving van was in the driveway, and she was pretty much just like, "If thing, if you don't change in Michigan, then this is not going to work." Like, yeah, so you know, it was, like stress, it was yeah, just yeah, like, was like, this is, this is not going to work. It has to change, you know? And it wasn't like, like in which I'm sure Lydia, if she would go, if she could speak back to her old self, she'd probably say like, to be more gracious, probably in some ways, maybe, babe. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm like, hey, I'll she's like, for Lydia. No, no, she <laughs> She's like, uh, and not at no, all. Um, and that's cute, Ethan, but no. He's adorable. He's still adorable. Yeah, but, <laughs> but there was like this, there was a level of like, I had just not been meeting her needs as just a husband of being present and available and emotionally available and all of those things that like, um, she was just kind of like, you either need to wake up or this is going to be a start to be a problem, you know? Mm. And we weren't like, Oh no, we need marriage counseling. We're falling apart. It was just like, you need to change yeah. or we're going to need some counseling, you know? And, um, yeah. I think that's a real thing. The, the, the idea of we've, I mean, we've talked about this concept. I can almost can hear us about just not plugging in when you come mm-hmm. home, you know, from work, especially like that. Dude, that literally was last night for me. I got home, had like a 12 hour day, come home at almost eight o'clock, walk in the door and bear. I get, he's just like, let's fight. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> he's like ready to just wrestle. And I'm just like, I'm so tired. Okay. So we start wrestling a little bit and then I'm like, let's you're go. done. Sooner yeah. Than I'm just like, to be done. yeah. And I'm yeah. trying to like, I just want to talk to mom. He's like, okay. Like, he's like, well, nobody won yet. Like, this is what he said. <laughs> And I'm like, well, sometimes it's a draw, champ. <laughs> but it's tough, dude. It's yeah. tough, you know. And that's that's a good, that's a key thing. Like you said, even for both parents, dads. I'm gonna we'll lean into dads, especially. We'll put like seventy percent of the weight in you guys today. But for both mom and dad to to not retreat from family, that's man, that's a good. It's just a, such a descriptive, a nice descriptive way to put it. Yeah. Like well, even like when we say to, you need to engage and or however you say it, but like just the idea of like retreating, yeah, is like man, that's a good visual. It's like it, it's like you're running away from something that you're scared of draining you, but in reality, every time I've been present, I feel recharged mm-hmm. and and I feel emotionally moved by the time I'm going to bed. That like, yeah. oh my gosh, I had this beautiful heart to heart moment with Scarlett and I won't ever forget. You know what I mean? It's yeah. like you just became available. You didn't have to do backflips or cartwheels. You know, you just were available. And mm-hmm. you know, and sometimes I think that's the thing that we re- even remind ourselves when our kids are like, let's wrestle. And you're like, I don't have the energy, but I am emotionally here. Yeah. You know, and I think even just that being just there and being willing to be like, I don't have the energy, but I am here, Yeah, you know, and I'm not on my phone or on Instagram or, you know, whatever, yeah. um, which I feel, I, I feel at this, you know, it's not something I'm good at every single night, but Dude, it's these, something I'm getting better at. I feel like every year. Yeah. And these topics, the next three weeks that we're, or three episodes we're going to talk about are just things I feel like I'm, it's right now. It's like, mm-hmm. I wish I would, <laughs> wish I knew it, you know, type idea or was yeah. practicing it. Okay, um, what do you got? I've got one. Um, I only have two. So. I've got two as well. So I'll go into mine. Mine was um one of them was don't parent your kid out of fear mm-hmm. and say you're sorry. And I was pulling that from just the idea like when you <laughs> as a parent you mess every you mess up. And there's so many times you just need to say you're sorry. Mm-hmm. You know, and I think that as new parents, um, parents of multiple kids or whatever, however it goes, I, I guess, and I only have one. I'm a one and me and Kate are a one and done mm-hmm. deal. So I don't know what it's like to have the multiples 
but and my imagination is it's not like well i just know it's not the same you kid each kid is a different you know bag yeah. of problems for you so it's like you can't have like the cookie like the cookie cutter idea that oh i did it with this child this way this way so it's like you have every kid is a new opportunity to say you're sorry yeah. you know and it's like <laughs> yeah. is how i imagine it yeah. but i just think like so many times as parents we you know we put it on us or like you know you make a mistake and you just hold on to it and dig your heels in as like the adult mm -hmm. um and one thing i um i just remember i, I told kate the one day we were talking one day and i'm like gosh i would never talk to an adult the way I talked to bear mm. and that hurt me, you know, to just, yeah. and it's like, and I think it's because they're just kids and you're like, just stop doing it because I told you to like, don't like, you don't need to even give an explanation. You don't need to do a, anything. Bloop, bloop. But <laughs> if that keeps happening, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I think the parenting out of fear, like, I, I don't know, man. I, I, I just wish that. And, and I guess that that statement is, is even like the idea that, you know, you're going to like, to control a kid that you're just scared they're gonna yeah however they're gonna be that you know you just it's it's like way more based off of um uh what's the word compliance than yeah. um than love or agree or or just uh connection compliance mm -hmm. versus connection um yeah, and I want. I read that somewhere. It sounds cool. <laughs> so <laughs> sounds real, real neat, Ethan. <laughs> and I think, like over the years, I've, I don't know. I, I think I've been doing better, but bear now. I mean, but again, no. I mean, bear's ten now, so it, it is a lot different. But when they're little, and you just want to like, because then you have in your head too. You have it where it's like, well, you got to scare them. You got to be able to scare them. Yeah. You know, you get that in your head. You got to understand like, that there's consequences yeah, in life. Yeah. And it's just, it's strange. Parenting so hard. It's super hard. <laughs> it's so hard. And yeah. there's always that thing in the back of your head of you're like, I don't want my kid to be like that kid. Yeah. Or, it, and that doesn't necessarily mean a kid that is their age, but a kid that you remember growing up being around in mm -hmm. this reality of, I don't want my kid to end up ever being <laughs> that, the, <laughs> Okay, I can't say it. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say it, then no, nope, didn't should say it. Okay. Yep. And but, uh, so I would say the the I'm sorry part too is a, was a big deal for me to look back. Like just like I can remember just losing my grip. Um, Bear having just a great day all day, and then we have a bunch of people over at night, and he's overtired, and they're playing, and then things just go off the rails. And like the last forty minutes of the day. I'm just like, just want to just you're tired. This He's kid. tired. Yeah, and I'm bigger, so <clears> I win. <throat> you know, type idea. And I just remember being like, "Gosh, what a jerk move!" You know, yeah. like to not even take take a moment to consider the the whole of something versus mm -hmm. just the moment of something. I don't know. Yeah, I just I think that's the big a big deal to be able to say I'm sorry. It's hard to consider their world and what's happening to them all day long mm -hmm. you know i mean for my kids um i sometimes forget that there's four of them and they may have all been struggling to be heard all day long you know what i mean just yeah. talking over top of each other trying to get more attention um trying to like talk to one buddy you know out of the four and another kid talking over top and that just this reality of like not being able to feel like they're being heard. And so the house just gets louder and louder and louder and louder and louder. By, and then by the end of the day, I'm just like, stop it. You know what I mean? Because I'm just so like, like, gosh, it's so loud in here. And, you know, and 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 you forget that that it's it's one of those things where you're like, man, Scarlett was just trying to be heard. Like mm. she's she's been trying to be heard for five hours, you yeah. know, and her brothers keep talking over top of her, you know, or Bear is 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 in a room full of people and he just wants to be heard. And, you know, this one moment really doesn't define their whole day. But yeah, you can but grab you it. Treat it, you like, treat it like this is how been, you've been all day. You this know, this is who you are. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna break your back. <laughs> yeah. all right, what's your next one? Do you okay, one? Uh, my next one is my kids are not in the way of us having fun. Mm -hmm. That is one I'm still working on. Of like we met 
people like you and Kate who had like years of being married without bear, um, tons of friends who dated for a while before being married and people were just married and they had waited a while to have kids and stuff like that. And they have all these stories about like, oh, yeah, we traveled over here. What in the world? There's a kill it. Fly. Is it a fly? I think it's a oh, ladybug. Yeah. Well, anyways, back to the story. So just hearing all these people like, oh, we traveled over here. We experienced this together. We got to go out to di- dinner whenever we wanted, you know, all those things. Burp. Cool. <laughs> burp time. And LaCroix. burp break. Not a sponsor. <laughs> Not a sponsor, LaCroix. Um, <laughs> it'll make you burp. Um, Bubbly. So uh, when Lydia and I first got married, we didn't have like any money. So mm. we made like 23 grand in one year. Um, and it, and we Half were in, of that was taxes. <laughs> yeah. And we lived in Utah where the regular income is 60 grand. So the prices of everything is much higher. And so we, had, we made like no money. We ate rice and beans for dinner most nights. Um, and we didn't get to go on date. Like we didn't get to go on these amazing dates. And when we got married three months later, we had, we got pregnant with Grayson. Right. So the first year of life was us just, um, literally just saving and being super tight. And, and so then when Grayson and the kids started coming along, I developed this mindset that, Oh, we finally have money, but now our kids are in the way of us having fun. Mm -hmm. And which is so not cool. Yeah. It's like you brought them into the world. You (laughs) jerk. Seemed like a good idea at the time. (laughs) Yeah. Seemed really fun, (laughs) but no. And so that's something I I'm working on is just making sure that like, and that, I think that's something we're transition. Even this year is a pretty pivotal year for us of, to transition as a family. Of like, our kids are not in our way. Our kids are with us, mm-hmm. and we need to like. We only have eighteen summers of right. their life to yeah. to just be able to have fun together and to not look at it as man. I can't wait till you're out of the house so me and Lydia can go have fun, but to look at it as like we have eighteen and Grayson. Now we only have eleven more summers to have a really fun time yeah. before he's out of the house, you know, potentially. Right. So and when we're you just say trying it to that shift way, that. It's just a reality check. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Yep. My, la- my other one was, um, put your phone away. And that is so real right now. Yeah. And, um, it's just, man, these things just can own us. Gosh, they own you. And like the time, like, I just don't want to, <laughs> I really don't want Bear to be like just all these memories of me just sitting on my phone. Mm-hmm. It's just so I I don't even know. I mean I'm I try to work on it. I, I swear, dude, Kate and I've had it like on our like our goals like sub goals whatever list that <laughs> two years in a row like put phones away by seven o'clock, put them away by eight o'clock, put them away by we you know, but mm-hmm. just to get off of these stupid phones and spend actual time face with to face somebody time. even like gosh dude like I, I don't know screens are one thing screen time you know, it's always something i feel like parents are trying to figure out with their kids and stuff because even to like play smash brothers with bear is so fun i love smash bros like me and him we're just going at it and um it's like yeah you're on the screen but or to go out, you know, we're, we've definitely been trying to be way more active about going outside, especially now it's warming up finally. But just the phones is how much it can just take away from yeah. direct contact with kids. Like even the the one day, like Bear and I, we were talking, we were having breakfast together, and I was like, hey, I want you to remember this forever. And he was like, what? And I'm like, let's just make, let's just make this memory, like, Corey, <laughs> he's just trying to force I, a core yeah, memory. I, I know. I was like, <laughs> bing it was bong, like bing so bong, funny, bing dude. Bong. He's like, what? So he starts laughing. I'm like, you're eating cereal. I'm eating cereal. We're here. Let's just remember. You know, it was just like this. And it was so funny. He's like, okay, I'll remember. Like, I'm like, you're going to remember? You promise me you're going to remember? He's like, yeah. <laughs> he's <laughs> I'm like, sure he <laughs> I'm trying. But, but it's funny. But like to think like just, dude, you get up in the morning on the phone go to work on the phone, come Mm -hmm. home on the phone. And it's like, I just don't want to. And it, but it's, man, this thing is, it's just, yeah. Tied to you, especially when you get an Apple watch, then you're getting text notifications too. Yeah. But that, uh, that I think everybody can identify with. And I think the, 
secret there for me has, and I'm really bad at it, but for the days that I get it right, it's when I walk into our bedroom, put my phone down on our nightstand and then walk away. And then I'm just like, I'm just not available. Yeah. You know, to the world. We've had that even like where it's like, we'll bring it up to each other on like a, I don't know, whatever day we're off together and we're going to do something. Mm -hmm. It's like, let's just make this like no phones. And then Kate and I will try to make like a pack together and just, so that helps a lot. They but, slit their hands yeah, and, and put blood all over their phones. <laughs> <laughs> no this. phones. I couldn't use it anyway because it's covered just in blood. Cried, <laughs> cried, that got yeah. dark really quick. <laughs> so those are the things. I think those are a couple things yep. I, I would have, I would like to have, especially heard it from my own mouth 10 years ago, not somebody else's. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, and that's the, that's, I feel like, this guy. It's still happening. <laughs> I can't talk. It's not, it's over. It's like uh, really I'm never drinking LaCroix. <laughs> how, many, how many times have we said that though with us? We say it all things. the time. Even Kate said, like, why do you guys always drink this thing in your burping? Because they're fantastic and they're zero calories. Ah. Um, I, think, I think coming from your own mouth, if you were able to do that, you'd be able to say, listen to me stupid yeah trust me you're being dumb like Mm -hmm. these decisions are dumb decisions they're not smart they're not even you know what i mean even though that sounds super aggressive but that's what i would have i would have been like you are kind of a jerk when you believe these things (laughs) or when you act this way like stop being a jerk and care about somebody more than you care about yourself Mm -hmm. you know and that's what all for me that's what it was it was just self-preservation and a father's not supposed to self-preserve. He's supposed to lay down his life for his family. For sure. All right. How are you guys going to send it? I'm going to say send it by write down a couple things that you wish you would be able to tell yourself 10 years ago or whatever, yeah. however many years ago when you first became a parent. And then change and then, it. And then work on it. Work on you. Guys, thanks so much for subscribing and liking and hitting the bell. And, hitting and sharing the, the podcast with your up. friends, yes. too. We don't talk about that, but... Dude, if you liked this episode, just sh- yeah. send it right now. Use the little text thing. Ba-coo. Just text send it to it one out. of your friends. And be like, hey, I think you might yeah, like this. if you this. know some bad parents, send this to them. <laughs> <laughs> send it to them. You, you really need to watch uh, it. Are you a bad parent? <laughs> yeah. Yes. All right. Thanks, guys. Have we'll a good day. Catch you later, man.